what you guys got another compute repair to help you troubleshoot and fix no display for integrated graphics now if you've got a ryzen processor or intel processor that has integrated graphics and you're trying to display it here as you can see i'm turning on the computer and we're getting no display on the screen here then i'm going to show you how we can quickly resolve this issue it's quite straightforward and easy to do now as long as you haven't got any sort of hardware problems or anything like that then this is the way you can resolve this problem you can see i've got the pc on now and we're getting a black screen and there is no display whatsoever i tried to pull out the hdmi cable here which says i've got no signal and then i'll plug in the hdmi cable again and when i plug it back in you can see i get a black screen and then i get no signal entering the power saving mode shortly now if i pull the power cable out of the monitor you'll get check-in signal here it's going to try to check for a signal with the computer and what will happen is you'll still get no uh, signal on there and this is because uh, there is an issue with the actual gpu being recognized so it can't display uh, what you've got there so you can see here enter power saving mode again so how are we going to get a display we've got the hdmi cable plugged into the correct port here which is for integrated graphics this is if you don't have uh, you know a graphics card and you've got uh, integrated graphics supported for this computer so that's what we're trying to do here so what I'm going to do here is there is no graphics card in this system so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the power lead out of the computer itself and then we're going to shut the whole computer down and I'll show you how to quickly resolve uh, this problem and so we can get display here so let me go down to the bottom here and pull out the power so i'm going to turn off the power here and pull this off there we go so now we've got no power so we should see now we get no signal please check your connection and that's because we've powered down the computer so let's go ahead and uh, sort this out and get this resolved now if you've had a graphics card in the computer and you're now going to onboard graphics sometimes this can cause a problem if you don't do the correct procedure to swap over the graphics so i'm going to remove the side panel here and uh, what i'm going to do is quickly uh, pull out the uh, battery for the cmos here so we need to power down everything so what we're going to do here is quickly pull out the cmos battery now the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that we drain all of the power from the computer itself so removing the battery this has uh, some information stored and we need to remove all this so all the information stored in the BIOS will be removed and this is because we want to be able to enable uh, the onboard graphics or integrated graphics. Now this sort of problem can be very confusing to some people and it's quite a simple fix but if you don't know what you're doing it can literally really sort of stump you a little bit to get display on the monitor. So what we're going to do here is push the power button now and you need to hold this down and what this is going to do is draw power and uh, basically clear all the all the capacitors all the power that's stored in in the computer itself and drain it right out so that's what we need to do so we've got no CMOS battery in and we've got no power lead in the back of the computer and then drain all the power out by holding the power button down and once we've done this we can then put the CMOS battery in and put the power lead back in so let's go ahead now and put the CMOS battery back into the computer now any sort of information that was stored in the BIOS will be wiped back to default settings so any sort of um, settings that you've done in the BIOS will be completely wiped back to default now we can see here we've got no graphics card in here now this will work with any type of integrated graphics or onboard graphics so we need to put in the power cable now back into the PSU so I'm going to plug that back in so whether you've got Ryzen or in Intel it will work the same process will be the same so let's plug it in and power it on now you can see all of the RGB lights have been defaulted back to yellow and that's because we've uh, took the CMOS out and any information that was stored on there has been resetted back to default settings so now we can see that the screen has gone black and we're just waiting for it to 
recognize the monitor and everything else and there we go we have now got display and it's now starting to boot up so that little simple trick there will resolve the problem no problem at all there we've just now got our display up and running so now we've got display I'm just going to restart the PC here and let it boot to the desktop and hopefully once we get to the desktop we can then reboot the system and go into the BIOS afterwards so let's go ahead and restart the system and uh, go to the desktop here so we'll just let this boot up hopefully everything uh, goes okay so we've got no signal here and there we go we've got post and it should boot up into uh, the Windows desktop here so just let that load in and there we go we're at the desktop so I'm going to quickly restart now and uh, go back into the BIOS to check some of the settings in the BIOS and that way we can uh, we can get our system back to the way we want to you can see all the color system here has changed and that's because we've reset uh, the BIOS so the color fans and all that are all out of sync so and that's because all the information was stored on uh, the battery here so what we need to do is go back into the BIOS and change a lot of this stuff and uh, pretty much once we've done that we should be okay and back to the way we was before so let's go into the bars quickly and uh, I'll quickly change those uh, colors here for the RGB fans that's another question I get sometimes is how do you sync all the colors you can do that in the BIOS and I'll just quickly show you that uh, so I can answer two questions uh, in one video so we're going to go into the BIOS here and uh, quickly uh, change those colors very simple and easier to do now you can use software as well to do that but most of the motherboards uh, manufacturers nowadays have uh, this particular feature in the BIOS which allows you to change all of the RGB and sync it all together especially if it's um, the proper synced uh, RGB stuff rather than the uh, cheaper Chinese uh, branded fans which have to use their own proprietary uh, controller boxes here so I'm inside the BIOS here you can see the BIOS has been changed and that's because we've removed the CMOS battery and uh, push the power button down to wipe all the power from it so I'm going to go in here and what I'm going to do is quickly navigate to the location where we've got our RGB here and make changes to that I think it's somewhere in uh, inside here there we go RGB fusion and there we have our little color wheel you probably won't be able to see it too well on the camera I can just change this to red and you can now see it's all synced all the colors to red you can change whatever you like pulse or color cycle or whatever it is you want to do I'm just going to leave this all red uh, just to keep it a nice static color you can turn it off as well if you wish from this location so once we've got that done we can then uh, click F10 to save and then come out of here and the job is a good one and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can quickly resolve that issue where you're getting no signal when you're using integrated graphics some people find it tricky to do because obviously they don't have a graphics card and they're getting no display but that's basically how you can resolve that problem very simple and quick and easy uh, to resolve now as long as you don't have any sort of hardware issues then this uh, problem should be very quick and easy to resolve if you've got other problems like a bad cable or maybe you've got say for instance a problem uh, with the monitor or problem with graphics card or some sort of other issue then obviously this won't work for you but hopefully if it's just a simple case of you've swapped out your GPU or you've gone from a uh, you know a standard graphics card to an onboard graphics or integrated graphics then this problem can arise sometimes on brand new builds you may uh, get this uh, sort of problem as well trying to get the uh, graphics enabled sometimes you can get into the BIOS and there's a little switch there you just have to enable it or disable it maybe it's been disabled and you can't uh, get into there uh, and you haven't got a spare graphics card what you can do is uh, reset the uh, BIOS just like I showed you there and it's a very simple and easy process to get back in and put it back to default settings so there is always a workaround for these type of problems they're sort of basic computer repair problems that you have to learn if you want to uh, sort of learn this sort of stuff it's very simple and easy to do it's not that difficult but other than that I think that's going to be about it been seeing quite a few negative Nancy's in the comments section 
especially in the last video but I've seen him on a few videos now and uh, people need to chill out a little bit remember this content is free I'm giving you up my time and of course I can't please everyone either the video is too short or the video is too long or you're taking far too long to um, explain something that would take five minutes and of course then you get people to say you're not explaining it enough I need more detail unfortunately I can't please everyone and that is the nature of YouTube Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. That's the little rant over with. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video useful and helpful. If it does help you out, then give it a thumbs up. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.